Art Week, hosted by the City of Marquette Arts and Culture Center, is just days away. So this morning, Ansley Watson is in Marquette to tell us more about the days filled with interactive art. Beautiful morning out there, Ansley. It's gorgeous. The seagulls think that's pretty great too. Can you hear them? They yes. are up and awake and wanting their breakfast for sure. Yes, Art Week kicks off actually Sunday evening, the 25th, this coming Sunday. Down at the Commons, there's going to be food trucks, there's going to be a band. However, this morning we're talking more about that following Friday on June 30th. The Fresh Coast Plain Air Painting Festival is taking place throughout the whole entire day. If you don't know what plain air means, it's basically painting outside or painting in the outside open air. So we actually have an artist joining us this morning. He's set up. He's painting a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. So we'll get to speak with him and then just about the day in general. So stay with us. Reporting live, Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. Thank you very much, Ansley. You have got a perfect day for that plain air painting, that's for certain. As we get started for the day Welcome ahead. back, 10 after the hour, the inaugural Fresh Coast Plain Air Painting Festival is coming up during Art Week in Marquette. This morning, Ansley Watson showing us some of the beauty that we're going to see coming from nature onto the canvas. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning. What a perfect morning to express this and show this artwork off this morning. Joining me is Charlie Stewart. And you're kind of the organizer of this whole yes. entire festival mm -hmm. here. And then also next to you is Marcella, and you're the promotions marketing assistant for the Arts and Culture Center. Yeah. Ladies, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning. So first of all, this Plan Air Festival, first time this has happened during Art Week, is yes. that correct? Yes, this is the first time. Um, Kathleen Conover actually suggested the idea, and so we took it and ran with it. And the group that's uh, actually organized the thing with a great deal of help from Marquette Arts and Culture is the Painters on the Loose, which is our local, you know, uh, unorganized <laughs> plein air painting group and for those who don't know plein air is that's a french term and it just means painting outdoors uh -huh. in the instead of in the studio from photographs or something so in front of the actual landscape and it's a wonderful experience for painters to have even if you don't make it your main thing everybody should try it mm -hmm. because you learn so much about the light and the shadows and how things really look in real three dimensions as opposed to a photograph and then you take that back to the studio and it really informs your studio work. So mm -hmm. it's a really good learning experience, if nothing else. And as far as plein air painting goes, it's become very, very popular recently. Uh, there are competitions all over the country now. And so this is our first time in Marquette. But we and we have a group of uh, very um, generous sponsors who've made it possible for us to offer two thousand dollars in prize money. Oh wow! We will have uh, judging and the the awards will be presented at a ceremony at the um, uh, Iron Bay Restaurant uh, in in uh, Marquette uh, down by the by the bay there, and. So we hope that everybody will come out because we want the public to come out and watch the artists paint all the way from uh, Founders Landing up to Presque Isle Park. And uh, there's a, there will, we want them to vote for their favorite painting because there will be a, an award also for the People's Choice painting. So we want to do that too. Marcella, when it comes to, like I said, the, the layout of where the artists are going to be, um, where can people find them? They, they just go up and watch. How does that work? Yeah, they're going to be scattered around town, um, probably, we're guessing, along the lakeshore. Um, and because it's a part of Art Week, we're hoping we'll get people out and see people just art in a different um, environment, um, so to speak. And there are going to be a ton of artists, painters, photographers, and different businesses too. So it's going to be kind of fun to integrate all that together. Um, but yeah, just take a drive around and people know that people are going to be coming up to them and looking at their work and their paintings. So. so it's okay to, to go up and look over their shoulder and see what's going on there. Yeah, but I probably <laughs> would say maybe like not get your face right up to the canvas probably. You consider it for sure, yeah. for sure. Probably not a good idea to try to talk to the artist yeah. too much, but it's good, but it's okay to watch. <laughs> when it comes to the voting, is it the public voting or is it well, artists voting with each judges. other? We have judges, Kathleen Conover and um, Carl Meyer will be actually doing the, the judging for the awards. But but then everybody, the public gets to vote for their favorite painting. And so that is one of the awards, okay. the People's Choice Awards, right? And that'll be, we have $2,000 in prize money altogether. So 
uh, we, we do have some good some good incentive for artists to come out and paint. This is happening on June 30th. Is it an all-day event? Yes. We'll start with registration and check-in at 7 o'clock in the morning. And the painters must return their paint, their finished paintings to the Iron Bay restaurant at 4 o'clock. Okay. And then we'll set that up there. There will be a reception there and, of course, food and drink available. So right. we hope everybody will come out and enjoy it. Ladies, thank you. I know Steve's been hard at work over there, and later hour we'll get to talk with him as well. So stay with us. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. Welcome back. It just seems like artists naturally gravitate to the Upper Peninsula. Well, Art Week is coming up in Marquette next week, and a plain art air, a plain air painting festival is taking part in that. Ansley Watson is telling us a little bit more about what that is now that I've stumbled through it. Morning, Ansley. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry if it gets a mouthful. Good morning. So one of the uh, promotions marketing assistants, Marcella Godoy, is joining us with the Arts and Culture Center. Good morning. Good morning. So this is um, kind of, this, this festival is taking place within Art Week here. Yeah. It's kind of a full day event. Kind of just walk us through what people can expect. So it starts at 7 a.m. with registration and it goes through 4 for those people who want to participate. Um, and then at four, everyone's going to bring their paintings that they've completed down to the Iron Bay restaurant and they'll be judged there and people from the public can come and vote for their favorite and there will be a People's Choice Award and there'll be um, drinks and like light snacks. So it'll be like a good um, opportunity for everyone to kind of um, meet and since it's on the Friday um, towards the end of Art Week, it's kind of a good like bringing everyone together, sure. ending to it so it'll be great. Can artists still register to be in this festival? Yep definitely so we have a Facebook event and the link to register is on there it's a pre-registration um, sort of deal and an, an option is registering in the morning as well and you can also call us email us and we also have all of our art week events on the new market 365 um, community calendar okay. um, so everything's on there the link as well um, and like I said, um, call us, email us. We are sending out people the registration link as well. So Steve Hughes is joining us this morning and he will be competing in this festival. Steve, you have been painting all morning long since 5 a.m. How's yeah. it been going? Well, it's a, it's a challenge to be staring right at the yeah, sun. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, the sun is blinding right now. So it changes the color <laughs> as you're looking at things. But uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a perfect morning. For you as an artist, what do you like to, to paint, especially plein air painting? And that's such challenging work. Right. Uh, I really like the water. So Dead River Falls is probably my go-to, okay. as well as over in Presque Isle. So usually not facing the sun. <laughs> uh, and then otherwise, uh, my, my professional work, uh, I do illustrations. So I do a lot of portraiture, uh, famous faces, celebrities, uh, things from movies. And... Uh, Hopefully these uh, these start to inform some of my other work. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous work. Do you know where you're going to be at during this festival on Friday? I don't yet. I, I am thinking over at Presque Isle, but maybe over by the, the lighthouse would be good too. You have a lot of choices. A lot of choices. There, there's plenty of things to be to be uh, studying day to day. So, you know, when I wake up that day, I'll look at uh, what's happening with the light and drive around town a little bit. Very exciting. Well, again, it, this festival takes place on June 30th during Art Week. Charlie Stewart's kind of been the organizer of it all. Char Charlie, how's it going? You're also an artist yourself. Yes, I, yes, I also paint, and um, this is my setup. And basically what I do when I come out is to start a painting is just do some sketching, um, just put in a basic, uh, some lines to show what I want to paint. Like if I'm looking at the lighthouse over here and this shoreline across the back here, and we'll get these rocks in here and then the building of course this doesn't even look like anything for a while you understand <laughs> but uh, you just want to get the basic idea, idea down yeah and some trees and so then i would come back with and not one single cloud in the sky today can you believe that clouds are fun to paint but we won't be doing that today we could imagine them though yes we but can. Uh, so then i would come back and i'd start mixing colors like the greens just a basic green uh and block do what we call a block in where um, you would just mix up a green here, 
Beautiful. Well, we have to wrap it up here, but you'll be out here. Well, are you painting as well? Well, we'd like to invite artists who don't want to compete but would like to paint can come out and paint along with the artists during okay. that day on the, on the 30th. And um, so, yeah, and I'll probably be out here somewhere too. All right, Charlie, thank you so much. Reporting live in Marquette, I'm Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 Morning News after the break.